Hey guys, so in today's episode, we will be exploring the food here in Macau, which is honestly one of my favorite place ever. I've been there four times now. After months of researching, I came down with a list of restaurants that I really need to try. So on day one, we had lunch at Veggie Castle, which is only five minutes walk from our hotel. It is a family-run business and it just has this really homey vibe to it. I honestly don't know what to order. There are so many options, so many different types of burgers, but I went for this one, the Impossible Giant Burger. And I am definitely gonna order a dessert later. Look at the dessert options. Oh my gosh. So for my very first meal here in Thai, Thai one, I really need food. <laughs> I really do need food. I am here at Veggie Castle for lunch. Mm -hmm. I'm really really hungry like up to the point that I'm like hangry. Can't wait to eat. It's just a really really tiny shop right, where the kitchen is upstairs and the sitting area is just downstairs and there's only like a few tables. A really humble setup. I'm with my mom. Hello mother. Are you hungry? And I'm like... I've been to Macau for four times already, but this is my first time like really exploring those food. Guys, I've got my smoothie here. This is the summer smoothie. So there's like pineapple, mango, vanilla protein powder, and almond milk. The smoothie was pretty tasteless, that is why we didn't finish it. Yep. So I ordered their black truffle pasta, which was so good. It's more of like a aglio olio style with black truffle. When they serve the person next to us their black truffle pasta, I can already smell it from here. It smells so good. Every pasta strand is nicely coated with truffle oil, and there are also a lot of truffle chunks. Yeah, they are really generous with the truffle chunks. Even my dad really enjoyed it. And the best part is definitely towards the end of the dish because you really get the truffle oil and all the truffle chunks. So I ordered this BBQ pizza that is topped with pineapples, BBQ sauce, cherry tomatoes, and there are also some fried mushrooms. This pizza wasn't my favorite because I feel like the BBQ sauce was really sweet and there were too much of the BBQ sauce that it overpowered everything else. I didn't quite like having the shredded mushrooms on the pizza because it ended up sticking all over my teeth. So I also ordered a burger. It actually comes with this sauce thingy which has truffle oil on it. It's so good. I now need truffle in all sauces. Guys, just look at this burger. Doesn't it look like an actual meat burger? It's actually not. It's a plant-based meat. So the burger consists of two plant-based patties, vegan black pepper sauce, and veggies. Honestly, I can't remember how the other ingredients taste like. The patty really got all of my attention. Now I really wanted the sweet potato tart or the cranberry tart but they did not have it on that day. I'm not sure why so I ended up ordering this creme brulee. It doesn't taste exactly like that because creme brulee tastes like eggy kind of taste but this one just tastes like custard. Hey guys, so it is now dinner time and we are here now at Vega Vega Cafe. Should we get a burger? No. I think I want to get some pasta. Korean style kimchi. So I was so overwhelmed by the amount of risotto choices that they have on the menu but I ended up ordering this pesto risotto because I love pesto. So there's like pine nuts, chopped basil. Smell it first. <laughs> It was actually really good and this is my first time seeing pesto risotto. The texture, the flavor and everything else is just nice, yep. My mom really wanted to try this Chinese style pasta with XO sauce which I wasn't really a fan of but my mom said that it was really good. Mm -hmm. 
So second pizza of the day is this pizza with fermented bean curd sauce. It is definitely one of the most creative pizza that I've came across flavor wise. If you are wondering what it tastes like, it tastes like miso. And as for the pizza crust, I prefer the one at Veggie Castle because it's actually like an actual pizza crust. It is crispy at the outer layer but as for this one, it is more of like a flatbread, pita bread kind of style. Still my favorite, the pesto risotto. My dad also added some Tabasco sauce and he said it was really good. On day 2, we had lunch at Chakra Cafe which I like to refer it as a hipster cafe that is tucked in the city. It is really well hidden and pretty hard to find so you really have to, you know, look for it. I also love the outfits of the staff there, they are so cute. They also have the cutest menu, look at that drawing, it's so cute. Hey guys, so we are here now at Chakra Cafe for lunch and I just ordered a kombucha. Kombucha is now like one of my favorite drinks. It's so good. It tastes like the FN apple zapple. Yeah, but this is an English rose flavor. If you are planning to come here, right, you do need to make reservation. We wanted to come here for yesterday's dinner, but we didn't make any reservation, so we quickly made reservation for today. So now we're here, long story short, but yeah. <laughs> So this is the soup of the day, pumpkin soup. It smells really good and creamy like a carbonara soup but it tasted really weird. We all weren't used to the taste. So this was one of the today's special on the lunch menu which is a rice bowl with egg, teriyaki sauce, tofu, broccoli and some veggie and my mom really wanted to try it so I had to order it. It is pretty straightforward, nothing complicated, nothing special, just a really nice comfort rice bowl. But I really do love this stir fried shredded cabbage and carrot. So I ordered this tomato pasta which has anchovies. The taste of the anchovies didn't overpower the tomato sauce which is a good thing and you can really taste the freshness of the tomato. They really do use fresh tomatoes in here. So I really wanted to order the 5 deli with grain rice because, you know, more side dishes. But the staff told me that the flavor and the taste of the 5 deli ones are more neutral. And they told me that the side dishes for the 4 deli one has more flavor and more savory. So I ordered their 4 deli with grain rice which is basically a bowl of rice with side dishes. Eggplant, tofu with miso sauce, vegan patty. And I think that's the same stir fried veggie from my mom's rice bowl. Oh, my favorite one is definitely the vegan patty. You know how we have this like orange fish cake thing that is always in the freezer section in supermarkets? It tastes exactly like that, but it's made from I don't know what. Like I couldn't tell, but it's so good. The shop that I was most excited for is definitely Lemon Gelato. They are Michelin recommended which is wow. They have so many different types of gelato and they also have non-dairy ones. I literally spent 5 minutes standing there trying all the flavors, not all, I mean the non-dairy ones and you know just to see which one I like most. So I ended up choosing the pink guava and lemon flavor. The pink guava one is so good. I honestly love pink guavas. So I also did came across this supermarket which I think it's called Inda Quality Food. I found some vegan food and drinks there and yeah, I bought this vegan coffee. So for dinner, we went to Cha Pei, which is tea cup in Mandarin. So the front section and the back section of this restaurant is actually separated. The front section is for if you want to have desserts or coffees and the back section is where you refer to an actual menu. They also sell a lot of this cute homeware stuff, flowers, cards. 
Cha Pei recently came out with a healthy menu which is on the front page so I ordered this rainbow baby carrots couscous so this is definitely like a fine dine style kind of salad which I am so not used to there's like carrots, harissa carrots puree, cumin labne, kukukuk couscous and a lot of fancy stuff guys i don't think i know how to enjoy fine dine food i just don't get it i really need to learn how to enjoy fine dine food look i was so confused <laughs> no idea what was i eating it tastes a bit cheesy mm. the tomato puree tastes a bit cheesy let's try this i'm so excited for this I also ordered this beetroot tacatelli which I just got to know about this form of pasta but this is a dry version of carbonara I normally don't like carbonaras or creamy pasta but this one is so good it's really creative basically no regrets ordering this you should really order this if you are gonna go to Chape it's creamy but it's not too saucy but you still get the creaminess also ordered this impossible burger and it is honestly impossible once again tasted exactly like a meat burger it looked exactly like a meat burger so there's lettuce the patty some cheese mayo my dad told me that when he first took it bite he actually thought it's beef and he was so afraid to tell me just in case you know i ordered wrongly or something when i looked at the meat i was also really scared that i ordered the wrong thing because it looks exactly like beef I can taste the charred outer layer of the meat, the plant-based meat. <laughs> yeah. It's so juicy. Honestly, I really wish Malaysia or KL to be specific have burger like this. And I also like how they serve the burger with tater tots instead of veggies or fries. It's just cuter and different. My dad just said that this is even better than an actual meat burger and I totally agree. I will definitely come back to Macau for the burger. And I also want to try other dishes. There are so many dishes. Oh my god, I'm so full but it's so good. I really miss the pasta already. Mm -hmm. At first I wasn't quite sure about it. But now that it's gone, I do regret for not enjoying it more. It's so good. So I had the coffee that I bought at the supermarket and it tasted like salted chocolate mocha plus coffee. It doesn't taste like coffee at all, it's more of like a salted chocolate drink which I didn't mind. I also had some peanut butter toast at the hotel's breakfast. We then headed to Taipa which is across the bridge. Bridge as in like you know the sea and the bridge, not like the bridge. We stopped by at Blissful Carrot which is a takeaway shop and they serve vegetarian food. I spent another 10 minutes trying to figure out what to order because the menu is so overwhelming. So they had vegan carrot cake that day and I bought one of course. <laughs> So while waiting for them to prepare my orders, I had this protein junky smoothie. So there's cocoa powder, protein powder, bananas, and I can't remember what else is in there. But it's really smooth and thick and creamy. It's so good. To be honest, I was really full after drinking this. So since it's a takeaway only shop, we had to, you know, search for a place to eat my lunch. My mom wanted to try this Asian fried rice which is vegan. It is basically a colourful stir fried red rice with tons of mixed vegetables. I also added some tofu on the side which was definitely a good call. It was a bit too salty. I think they added too much soy sauce. It was so salty. I only took a few bites. So I actually wanted the Indian curry bowl but I don't know how I ended up ordering this lentil bowl. It is vegan friendly and it is basically beluga lentil stew with zucchini, eggplant, peppers, onion, baby bak choy and mushrooms with steamed rice and lemon tahini sauce. It tasted like carbonara. The lentils are cooked till it's really really mushy. I didn't quite enjoy this to be honest and I only had a bit of it. 
So I don't normally order salads but I really wanted one so I ordered their Cashew Curry Dream Salad which has brown rice, lentils, broccoli, cauliflower, shredded cabbage, chickpeas, bell peppers and lots of green and their spicy cashew curry dressing which was too little to be honest I couldn't taste any sauce I find this salad really dry and mm, that's all I can comment so I ordered this Reuben sandwich with whole grain bread that's grilled smoky tempeh, tomato, avocado, housemade sauerkraut and spicy tahini dressing. I found it pretty dry to be honest. I should have ordered it with tortilla but then the staff recommended the whole grain bread so I was like okay but I think I prefer the tortilla. At first I didn't quite like it because it was a really sour sandwich. The tempeh is pretty sour like a bit of sourness to it and then the sauerkraut is sour. Tomato is sour so there's like three sour ingredients in a sandwich and it's a bit too much for me but i ended up eating the whole thing because i'm a confusing human being yeah this is definitely the biggest sandwich that i've had i also tried adding some tofus because i love tofus they are so good I only had a bit of the lentils and the salad so I had that for dinner because I don't want to waste the food that's basically the only reason <laughs> but when I had it during dinner the lentil was like so good I think I was just really hungry so I ended up finishing the whole thing so we were in Taipa right and we literally just walked past a lemon gelato and I was freaking out I had the carrot cake later on during the evening like before dinner time I don't know whether is it because I left it there for too long or something but there's this bitter taste to it which is really weird because I don't think carrot cakes are supposed to be bitter icing was still really good I was actually pretty disappointed with the cake because I was looking forward to it for the whole day and the staff said that it is really good so I was like oh my gosh yes I need some really good cake and then it ended up being bitter so I think it might actually be my fault for for not having it right away or maybe because I didn't keep it in the fridge Hey guys, so it's my last day here in Macau and I really wanted to have some really good food before leaving and I found this Indian restaurant located in the Venetian which has one Michelin star and I was like, okay, we need to have some food. Also, I actually came here for their a la carte menu but for lunch, they only have buffet but I really need to try it before leaving. So. Let's dig it. They have vegetarian options as well, but they do contain dairy like yogurt and cheese and butter. So I've got some rice, the peanut butter chutney, the dal, the I don't remember all the names. This is the okra. Don't know which one is sticky masala or something, but they all look so good. So I'm gonna try the peanut butter chutney first. And you can also tell that they use fresh ingredients and all the dishes here doesn't look oily at all. I forgot to mention, the rice that I took is the rice with cumin spices, it's so fluffy. The pineapple thingy is so good, it's so juicy. That's one of the juiciest pineapple that I found in any sort of dishes. Normally, right, pineapples in dishes are really tiny, sometimes really hard. This one is so juicy. The lentils are also really well cooked till it's mushy. I love lentils, so this is just great. This lentil is definitely way better than the lentil, than the dal lentil I make at home. I honestly don't mind coming here again for their dinner. So the dish with apple, pineapple and some sauce kind of thing, it's more of like a sweet and sour dish. I don't take yogurts and butter often. Actually, I don't really take dairy. So when I do take dairy food, I can really taste and just point out that dairy in food. But this one, I can barely taste the yogurt thing, which is good because I just don't really like yogurty food kind of thing. I didn't know they have dessert. I was looking for dessert. Papaya sabudana kheer. Papaya tapioca sugar and milk. Perni rice milk cashew nut. Ooh, carrot. I want some watermelon for sure. For sure. Ooh, I want some onion bonda. Ooh, this looks good. Okay, that's enough. They also have naan and roti. I feel like taking a roti so that I can have it with the dal. Yeah. 
I don't know what is this. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay guys, second round, I've got some papadam. We need to try the papadam. Some roti, we've got the lentil dal. I've got some peanut butter chutney. The pineapple because it's so good and juicy. I do not know what is this. And also some onion. I don't know what is it. <laughs> yeah, let's try. Okay, I need to wear my glasses. It's so dark in here. I can't see my food. They do have a lot of homemade salads. and you know, homemade dressings, homemade chutneys, homemade sauce. Can you tell that I'm really pumped to talk about food right now because it makes me feel like talking about food. My interest of trying food is booming like crazy right now. I'm so excited. Let's try the papadam. Oh wow. Really thin and crispy. The ones that I have in Malaysia, right, they are really thick. Oh, I love this place. Good. I feel like I've taken almost all of the dal and chutney that I've none left for my roti but the combo is so good So good My favourite papadam now I think that's how I'll just fly all the way here <laughs> to eat it the mm. Let's try the onion thingy There's cumin I can't remember, there's so many ingredients this onion thingy really makes a good appetizer or starter. Mm -hmm. It's like an airy popcorn made from onions and spices with a twist of Indian style to it. Look at how big and juicy the pineapple is. Definitely not like roti chanai. It is like a pita bread but a thinner version. I put some tofu there. Wrap it up. And this is what they call a beautiful mess. Can you see? The lighting is so bad in here. I can really add the peanut butter chutney on everything now. <laughs> no idea what is this. It's really soft. Oh, I think it's rice. There's rice, some bell peppers. I don't know what is it means. What is this? Is this garlic? It's like a very oniony, mushy thing that I can't identify but there's also like a really deep fried garlic in there like the whole piece of garlic is really deep fried I have no idea what is this but I quite like it so I've been calling it peanut butter chutney for the past one hour but it's actually paneer butter masala <laughs> it's not peanut butter Even though it's called peanut butter, there's no peanut taste to it. I am just ending my lunch with this, actually ending my whole Macau trip with watermelon because you know, yeah, I wanted to try their um, dessert. They have those like papaya milk, cashew nut stuff, but my summer don't really function well now after having milk and dairy and I have a flight to catch later so I don't want to risk that I think this is the end of my food diary here in Macau. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. If you yeah. want more videos like this, give this video a thumbs up. The vlogs Thanks. will be up soon, so <laughs> stay tuned for that. <laughs>